Special good morning, welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Federal, Colorado. Today, guys, I got a great unit behind me. This one is already sold, but this is one of our Summit haulers. This one came in just a couple days ago for a customer. And I decided to show you guys what the, you know, a white truck like this look like in our new uh, design. We had a blue, we had a red, we had a black. So we had a brown. So now we're showing off the white one. Again, just want to shout out to Bruce and his wife and family. Thank you guys for your business. And of course, going to show you what this unit has. And of course, if you guys have any questions, want to order one, we got a few available down the line that will be available for purchase. So do like Bruce and the rest, you know, go ahead of time and pre-purchase the vehicle. So if you guys have any questions after this video, feel free to reach out and I'll definitely answer those questions for you. So we're going to take a look up front here. Again, Summit Hauler has been around for so many years now, since 2006. And as we go on, we just try to develop a better product. And of course, our conversions, we just try to make it as comfortable and as great, good looking as possible. So with the front grille here, designed by the C9 company, we have our Summit Hauler logo up front, nice chrome. And you can see how the chrome matches with the white pretty good. Of course, right underneath here, we got the three-piece chrome bumper. So again, if a customer is in an accident or whatever, dent one of those, all they got to replace is just either one of those panels. Same for the bottom painted panel here as well. You do have the famous Freightliner logo up front. Up top, you guys can see we got dual air horns. We got marker lights and of course that white painted visor. And of course the large screen windshield on this truck for better vision while driving and of course just that great look once you're inside the cab driving this unit is it's just amazing the view so the new additions is the led lighting on those trucks now so instead of having that orange light you have that white bright light instead makes life super easy again we got two tie downs on either side Remember guys, always tie those down once you're done working in the engine or doing whatever the case may be under the hood. Make sure you tie those down, strap down tightly so when you drive in, this doesn't happen. <laughs> so, handle up front. Very easy to open. Again, I did mention this is a brand new 2022 Freightliner M2106. Summit hauler conversion. What you guys are looking at is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. And it's also partnered with the Allison 3200 TRV six speed automatic transmission. Right now this unit will produce 360 horsepower and about 1,150 foot pounds of torque. Great unit. When it came into our shop, even though it's brand new, we do what you call a PDI. This is a pre-delivery inspection. We ensure that there is no leaks in the airlines, no leaks in the engines or transmission. Make sure everything is in working condition before we hand it off to the customer. Then again, sometimes stuff happens after that, but again, trucks like this comes with warranty. And of course we keep our word by our products. So we'll make sure that the truck, if anything happens, the truck is back on the road in no time. Very easy to close. It does have that soft close. So with my hands not even touching it, you will see it gradually goes down. But again, with a little push, we'll allow it to go down a little bit quicker. And again, remember guys, once you're done with this, please use those tight straps and close both ends. So I'm just gonna run to the other side quickly. So I don't forget to leave it open. Another good thing about freight liners that I love is the mirrors. So we call those breakaway mirrors. So if in case you're driving, you know, you're heading down to a campsite, tons of trees and branches all over, you end up hitting something. It doesn't break the mirror, it actually closes it. So all you guys gotta do is just come out and put it back in place and you're good to go. So pretty awesome. 
We do have this long antenna on there. This is the uh, pre-wire for a CB radio. So if a customer decides to put a CB radio in there, the antenna is already ran into the vehicle. So this makes life super easy. Um, the new design with the steps. We got the engine block heater here in silver. We got, we now have a storage, a lockable area for your def tank and diesel tank. And you're looking at a 50 gallon tank here and a 50 gallon on the other side. We also have a six gallon def tank over here. Once this is closed and shut, there is a key that comes with the truck where you can lock this up. And again, with the price of diesel and fuel right now, you wanna, you wanna keep everything under lock and key just in case. We have a few LED lights running across the side of the truck. So we have about seven on this side, another six on this side. So once this truck is driving at night, it just brights up the road, you know, lights up the road. So all this is orange lights. We also have a trickle charger here for your battery. So the battery conditioner. So you plug this into 110, same as your engine block heater, and it will slowly charge your batteries. Let's take a look at the driver's seat. We got black interior with a cabin fiber design inside. Nice, comfortable seats here. This one is air ride, both driver and passenger has the air ride seats. This one does come heated. So you have the heated front seat, high and low setting. Ignition, so the key goes right here. Over here, we have the increase and decrease button. So with the plus, if you press it, it will actually increase the lighting on your dash. And the decrease, so of course, will decrease the light on your dash. Right next to it here is your light switch to turn on your lights on this truck. Center will be off. This one does come in for a daytime running light. So either ends of that headlight, the orange light will turn on when you actually start the vehicle. So it does have that daytime running light on that truck. Right underneath the seat, we do have your kill switch. So that will turn off all power to the vehicle once it's not in use. So once you turn it to your left, it will shut everything off and no electricity will run for that vehicle. Let's look at the panel. Our new design now. So we have that Summit Holo logo on the panel with our speakers. So right now we're using the Kenwood sound, the Kenwood uh, speakers on here. So we have Kenwood voice speakers and sub underneath the back seat. And then look at the cabin fiber dip for all the handles inside. And of course the full dashboard as well. I just love that. I just love that look. If you guys want to gain access to your batteries, it is underneath your back seat. So we got one, two, three, four screws that you will have to unscrew. And then this whole panel comes out and then you got full access to your batteries underneath here. Your back seat, as you guys can see, tons of room here. This unit, the way Freightliner designed the vehicles, um, the, the cabs, gives you tons of headroom, tons of leg room. And of course, this bench does turn into a bed as needed. The switch for that is on the side of the door. And of course, access to charging. In the center of the back here, we got all options for charging from USB plugins to two 110 plugins to two 12 volt plugins as well. Okay, we talk about storage. We got a used storage box in here. So underneath here, we do have an airline for airing up tires for your used vehicles, for your trailer, for this particular truck, if it run out of air in the tires, so you have that airline. We have another smaller storage box down here. 
and all four storage boxes including the one on top and we'll get to that in a minute this is all lockable so we have keys that would lock all those boxes so if you put personal items in there you could lock all those personal items in there and of course it does have that weather strip so no water could go inside with your personal items in here so it's pretty awesome again the customer did upgrade to have that storage box included on his truck before he came here so we were able to get that done way ahead of time so we need some time to get that box together so he was able to get that on the truck before he get, got here if you decide to buy a storage box we could get it on order ship it directly to you it's very easy to put together especially with the summit hauler trucks the design on the bed has that design to already install those boxes so it's some very heavy duty screws that go in there on the back end of it and lock that storage box into place so if you guys do have a summit hauler like this and decide to put a storage box or you want one put in it's very easy for us to get it done before it gets here or if it's if the truck is too much in front of the line because we'll need at least a four to six weeks window to get those storage boxes because demand is very high right now so we'll need some time to get that storage box to you so if in case there is a unit coming in next week for you or whatever the case may be we will need at least an additional four to five weeks to get that storage box delivered directly to your house so this is a huge storage box we do have that path here right now we do have a bmw hitch turnover ball hitch on there so right now believe it or not there is a gooseneck ball here you guys see it no okay i'll show you right here is our release for the ball and all we got to do is pull this up turn it around and then we lock that ball back in place and you have your 21516 ball already set up on this truck two areas here for your chain tie downs for your trailer we got a seven pin hook up here for your trailer line lights we got a 20,000 pound bumper pull hitch again you could this is a two inch receiver we do have hitches on in our parts department if you decide you need one of those hitches for your bumper pool and of course we have an adapter here to add an additional two cameras to the Voyager camera system which we have one right now and I'll show you guys that view once we get inside pretty awesome again we do have tracks here for tie downs customer decided he just needed two he didn't want that center part on there because he's gonna put a a track in here for you could put his four-wheeler on there so we do have that tie down track with additional screws all the way through on those tracks this bed did come spray bed line as well so the wear and tear on the on the chrome will be less so having that spray bed line on there keeps the bed in great shape Again, I did say we have another 50 gallon tank. It's located right here. And of course it is lockable, like I said. 50 gallons here, 50 gallons on the other side. So hundred gallons total. All right. Oh, we forgot to talk about the tires. <laughs> so we do have Michelin tires on both front and back. And those tires are 255 ADR 22.5s. And of course with Transwest and our Summit haulers, we do, do, we do put auto balancers on there. So on both front and rear of this truck, we do have the auto balancers on here. Again, it will save you on life of your tires. And of course, balances the vehicle as you go down the road. We'll go inside, kind of show you some of the features up front. And of course, guys, if you have any questions, feel free. Put on the comments below or you could Call or text me at the end of this video. So we're gonna start up top. We got that Voyager camera system, and you have that view. This is a great view of the back end, even with a trailer on there. You can still see both sides of that trailer. 
This is your string for your air horn. We do have a microphone right here that's connected to our Bluetooth Stinger sound system. Also storage up here, storage over here. Got all your light op options down here. If you want reading lights or when you're run, driving at night, that red light will give you enough light to read during your trip at night so it doesn't affect the driver. It's getting a little bit hot in here, so I'm gonna start this up. When you're in the cab, it's nice and quiet. So as we go down, we do have the cruise control switch. So this will turn on the cruise control. You set it and then you could accelerate. Once you're done, back it down. And of course you could turn it off if you need. You got your marker light right here. You do have your manual region button up here. As we go there, we got your traction control. You got all your power windows, heated mirrors, power locks. You do have your rear uh, dump suspension. You got your cargo light switch. You got your light switch, light test switch. And what does that, what does that do? You know, many people ask. This is a new, a new feature we have now. Once you turn this switch on, it will test all your lights, even on your trailer. So you turn that on, it will beep for a couple seconds. It will give you a countdown. And then once that is done, all your lights on your truck and your trailer will blink at the same time. And then if any, any of the lights are burned out, you know ahead of time before you hit the road that you have a burn light out. So that will actually test all the lights except your, your backup light and your cargo light. So those two, you will have to turn the switch on, which is this cargo light switch. You will have to turn that on to test your cargo lights of, um, and that will turn on your reverse lights as well. So once you do the light test, turn the switch on so all lights will be on at the same time. So you got your red differential lock, you got optional switch here. So if you wanna add more lights or stuff to the vehicle, you have additional switches. You have USB ports here for charging, four of them. And then you got your trailer brake. We use the red arc system right now. You have your USB and HDMI setup. And with that, you have the option of plugging in your phone right here and you will have Apple and Android capability on your Stinger sound system. Over here, we got your base switch that will actually decrease and increase your subwoofer underneath the back seat. All your AC controls over here. We do have an air supply for a trailer pre-wired. So if you want that hookup, let us know ahead of time so we could get those glide hands hooked up to the back of the truck. And of course, this is your air parking brake for the main truck itself. This truck is fully air brakes. It does have the drum. So the next video, once we do a, a video like this, we'll show you guys what those brake pads look like on this particular truck. We got tons of cup holders. We got two here, two here, and we got one on the side here for the passenger. Right here is a little cup holder. We got a nice little storage box in here with an LED light. And of course, we got reading lights. Once you switch those on, both of those lights will come on. And of course, we got a mood light. We'll give you that nice ambience. And then we got two additional switches here. This one is an auxiliary switch. So you could actually use that in the future if you want to add another light somewhere. So this is an additional spare switch is right here. So these two are the ones that are usable right now. When it comes to the rear of the truck, we got a rear AC and heat. So the blue here is for cold, the red is for heat. And of course you got three settings for the fan, low, medium, and high. And once this is center, it will turn off that rear AC or heat. Engine brake right underneath here. We got a high and low setting. So the high will give you all six cylinders kicking in for engine brake. And of course, the low will give you three cylinders. Center will turn off that engine brake. And those work pretty awesome. I've been on test drive with customers and once we trigger that engine brake and we get our foot off the gas, the stopping capability on that truck is amazing. 
even the turning radius on those freight liners believe it or not it looks like a bigger truck but it's way easier to turn this truck than your wanton dually amazing believe it or not you guys will have to see it for yourself so if you guys are interested like i said this one is a unit that is sold so we do have other white ones coming in that are available we're going to do a few different upgrades for this one we're going to add tin for the customer so if you want tint, if you need a storage box, whatever type of hitch you will need, let us know ahead of time. We'll get that done. And of course, you guys could contact me anytime at 303-684-3412 or on my cell at 661-755-4344. You guys could also email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com. We got tons of units available still. Again, the next two or three will be sold. So... The ones after that will be available so you guys can make your order in now like all the customers have done for the, our 2022s coming in it's been amazing so far we might you know we had a few delays with the trucks coming in but it's no fault of ours but we ensure that our customers are still happy with the product and once it gets in we have we we, we deliver it in a timely fashion so thank you guys again bruce and your family thank you guys for tuning in today to watch your truck online and uh thank you guys for your business and i will see you guys later for another video larry will be with you guys tomorrow for another one we do have a used m2 n so hopefully we can get that on the, online as soon as possible so i know a lot of people out there looking for 112 so this one is actually a pretty nice truck so feel free to reach out and we can give you guys information on that one if you are interested so in the meantime take care and thank you guys for tuning in today